Look how pretty all these are. It's nice seeing green in the winter time. Those are so pretty. Anyway, um, why am I here at the garden center and Home Depot? Well, I have a mouse in my kitchen. For the last month, he has been in there. Every day, I jump in the air. He runs out. At night, he squeaks really loud. I have tried every humane trap that there is. I have spent over a hundred dollars on humane traps and the damn things he's just not taking the bait I don't know what else to do but to get some kind of stuff that will get rid of him maybe something like this that this won't kill him and just okay safe for kids and pets long lasting rain resistant uh, but can you keep can you use this inside that's the problem mouse trap rodent block mouse killer I don't I, I don't necessarily my, my dog Wee Wee aka Mama aka Chi Chi Rose she won't eat stuff like that she would never eat something like that um, but the problem is, I don't want to smell a dead mouse for two weeks. The glue traps are hideous, they're so cruel. But I don't know what else to do. What am I supposed to do? I've looked online for every humane way to catch the damn thing. I've done everything. I cannot catch the mouse. I even ordered traps off Amazon that have like five stars. People are like, oh, these are great, and... You know, I took the mouse and let it go out in the field. It's like winter time. The mouse is not going to survive if I take it out to a field. It's going to die. So he has pooped all over my house. I am const I vacuum twice a day. I have to mop the floors because he's the pee that he he urinates on the floor. It stinks. It smells like fishy. It's like this fishy smell. snake away the fuck are we in Arizona I think the only way I'm going to be able to do this is uh, probably probably the glue traps I hate to do it though but he's got to go alright so I'm going to go this route first which is the rodent repellent it is non-toxic, safe for plants, people, and pets. And there are definitely a lot of droppings back here. I cleaned it. I, I well, I'm gonna do a little mop on it, but um, clean that up too. But look at all the gross grease and stuff that's fallen down there through the years. I'm gonna clean that up. And then apply this stuff, which smells really nice. It has, uh, I can smell peppermint in it. It smells wonderful. Oh, I hope this works. everyone just driving around and um, I noticed a, uh, a school over here that appears to be abandoned and uh, I'll take a look I don't even think there's a way in it seems like they have this uh, I'll go up this way and see this yeah 
yeah, this this school is definitely abandoned. But you see those those uh, plates they have. They they like weld those over everything, <clears throat> and um, it just makes entry impossible. So I think we're SOL. Dogs. Look at that place on the corner. It looks like an old convenience store. Maybe a laundromat, but it's been that way for a long time. Just sitting there, falling apart. Away. I'm right here at North and Division, and here is another little tavern. Probably built in the 30s. I went inside, they just sell sodas and stuff, but uh, that is definitely an old little tavern. The owner didn't even know what I was talking about, and I showed him pictures. But uh, he said it was an oil company for a while, and uh, now it's just a car wash and convenience store. But you can see the, the, the roof up there is that little tavern roof. They just painted it black. See this building right here? It's completely caved in. Looks like, oh damn, it looks like people are like going in there to, to get high. Yep, that's, oh, this is horrible. Smells of urine and uh, feces. I gotta really keep an eye on the ground. <laughs> I don't want to step on any poop. Goddamn. Looks like that house there might be occupied, but. These other places, oh my god, look at how creepy that is, there's needles everywhere. People are going back here. Uh, I, for one, will not be going back here, but um, there might be Maybe an entryway. Sorry, it just hurts. Sound like somebody was coming up behind me. What's going on? The clothes are everywhere. Pretty cool, isn't it? All right, 
That's pretty awesome. My needles all over the place. Can you imagine, Mike, you're a drug addict and this is where you come to get high? Like, oh, let's go behind that. I mean, th this is... This is being used to, for bathroom breaks and getting high. I wonder what condition these houses are in. There's, I can, dude, I keep hearing fucking. There's somebody back here. I don't, I think it's somebody in one of the houses. Okay, I think there is somebody back there. I'm just gonna get out of here. poop here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Check out that building right there. What could it have been? A movie theater? I don't know about that. I just don't know. But very Art Deco. This part right here, at least. That Art Deco design. Here's another depressing looking dumping spot. You can see over here. I guess that was the, op the you know, the cleanup uh, attempt. They just throw everything in there. But, yeah, people are Dumping, that's all drywall. People are dumping shit everywhere. I think I can make it up this alleyway here. Come up here and see. Boy, that's that, like, really bleak looking. Oh my god. Man, this is unreal. Most of these houses are unoccupied. The dog parking.
a rover. Damn. Like, just tell the whole neighborhood. So, this, the, yeah, the, most of these places are abandoned. There's a couple houses left on this block, but it's weird because when you're out front, um, it looks like the houses are kind of okay, but back here they're definitely not. This is probably occupied here. I got a lock on the gate. It's really bad here. Seeing this group of kids walking across the street and they noticed me in the alleyway. <laughs> and that's why I stopped the recording because I didn't want to, um, I didn't want them to see me uh, with the phone and the flashlight. So I just stopped. Um, but they didn't do anything, they were fine. The kids around, the, when I see the kids, they worry me more than uh, the adults do. There's an abandoned house here somewhere. I'm trying to remember where it is. Where is it? Moving on. This is the row where Cab Calloway uh, used to live. And you can see they put, they painted the fence to look like piano keys. But that box, they just added that. It's a damn thing that gives you a ticket. So now when you drive past here, it, I guess it's the Cab Calloway um, ticket speed camera. But, I mean, and they're going to name the park Cab Calloway Park. They should have saved the house. If you go look back on the filming channel, you can see the videos um, where I went to the Cab Calloway property and rip the door open so the relatives could go in and see the inside of it. This is the old orphanage. Opened up in the, I believe the 1800s. And they've been doing work on it. Uh, I guess to stabilize the inside. They had a, they, they had all this fenced off here and a dumpster. Um, so it's on the landmark list, home of the friendless, which I assume would be uh, kid, uh, you know, orphan children. They did a lot of work on this place. I mean, just cleaning it up and getting it secured. I tried to get in several times. I could not get in. There, there was a window. I think it was that window in the center there that I tried to climb through. Um, but there was just glass everywhere. And I didn't want to get cut up. And I didn't want to have to break the glass that was on the bottom of the window to get in, even though the glass was already broken. Um, cause that just, if I get seen doing that, then they're gonna assume I broke the window. So I was just like, I'll just like forget it. But I'll be interested to see what they're gonna do with this place. It'll probably become like a, I'm assuming 
probably a non-profit. But, man, I'd love to get in there and look around. Probably not now. It's probably boring now. They probably got everything out of there. Because they had dumpster after dumpster out here. Um, but I wonder if they had, like, the old beds and stuff in there. You, you could see through the front door, and there was, like... You could look, you could see up the stairs, um, and there were, like, chairs and stuff, old, old chairs, but that's about as close as I got to the inside, and then they were working on it one day, and I asked if I could go in, and they said no, so, maybe I'll just wait until it opens up as something like a non-profit, but such a cool old building. See this giant building here? It goes all the way down there. All of it's abandoned. This used to be I be the Social Security Administration, I believe. And people have uh, obviously gotten in, but Oh god. Fucking rat. Look at it. Jesus. It's huge. Yeah, and all the lights are on and everything inside. But these are all sealed up tight. I think the uh, homeless people were were going in and staying inside. I don't know if the heat is still on, but the beats sleeping out here with the rats. But I just heard on the radio that the mayor is going to propose that they buy two abandoned hotels downtown and they're gonna house the homeless in these hotels. We'll see if that happens or if that works. Seems like it's gonna be problematic, but we'll see. said open that door and then yeah. as I said ultra sketch I don't think I would go in there unless is there a cop behind me? I don't think I would go in there uh, without some protection and perhaps a couple of people with me. We'll see if it happens someday. I don't know. I want to make it happen, but we'll see. God, what is going on? There's so many cars. Oh, oh. I think it's because it's Valentine's Day. Everybody's going out to dinner. Me, on the other hand, I'm out filming Squalor and... All of them. <laughs> no one to love. Just busy shooting the Squalor. Oh my god, that is a man laying right there. 
I didn't even see him. I thought it was trash. That's that like literally scared me. Here we are. This is the the old bank uh, and healthcare for the homeless building. But I think it looks like. They have fenced this off up here. They have. They have fenced it off. Holy crap. Oh, and hey, look at that. Look at that old Dunkin' Donuts sign up there. I mean, that has got to be, like, old. But th this over here was like the like the shadiest. Like everybody sat back here and did drugs, and now there's nobody there. It was a good idea to extend this fence. There's no reason for people to be back there. I mean, it's just all these buildings here are abandoned. But it looks like the it looks like the shady dealings uh, that used to occur down there pretty much over. And that fence has a lot to do with it because the those guys they were all watch outs, lookouts. They all of them like had cell phones and. If you were back there, they'd call somebody and then a car would come and it was real shady. But I don't, you know, those guys aren't even there. All these stores are open. But oh, because it's, oh my goodness. All the stores are open because it's freaking Valentine's Day. These are all normally closed this time of night. So I think we're gonna finish this round of Film It in the beautiful Mount Vernon neighborhood. This is the square right here. And that is the Washington Monument. Erected a very long time ago in the 1800s. Uh, but this neighborhood's beautiful here. My, I mean, I've lived here most of my adult life. I've lived in this neighborhood. What do you guys think about me doing a video like of nice places in Baltimore? Should I, should I deviate and go to some of the nice places like the nice neighborhoods and stuff like that? Let me know in the comments below. If you've gotten this far in the video, uh, then you'll be able to uh, answer my query. But let me know. Love you guys very much. Join me on Patreon, patreon.com slash this is Dan Bell. See you soon.